one thing I can turn around and tell you, he should start maybe speaking to somebody about getting a custom-made jumpsuit because um, it does not look good for him. That's my prediction. Not mincing words. That was Donald Trump's former lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen, on this network just a few days ago, predicting that Trump should be preparing for the worst after the United States Supreme Court declined to block a New York grand jury from getting the former president's tax returns. Today, we know that those tax returns are in the hands of Manhattan DA Cy Vance after the subpoena was enforced on Monday. While the Supreme Court's ruling doesn't mean the documents will become public anytime soon or ever, it does signify a broad investigation of hush money payments and other financial issues over the course of the last eight years that very well could spell trouble for Donald Trump. As our friend Tim O'Brien writes in Bloomberg, a dam that Trump has spent decades fortifying around his finances and tax returns has been broken. And Vance's investigation appears to be broad enough to pose a serious criminal threat to the former president, his three eldest children, and the Trump Organization. Joining our conversation is the author of that piece, senior columnist for Bloomberg Opinion, Tim O'Brien, and Matt Miller is here. Tim, there's been so much uh, speculation and then ultimately reporting around what Robert Mueller's investigation, which was looking at ties to Russia, did and didn't get. It's now known that they did not have all of Donald Trump's financial documents. Our friend Andrew Weissman wrote about that in his book, or his tax returns. But, but you know a little bit about his finances. I mean, what is the, the dam breaking? What, what does Cy Vance have in its entirety that no one has ever seen before? Well, the, the first thing to remember is that it's not just the tax returns. It's the, it's the work product with his accountants. And this is a criminal case. One of the standards in a criminal case is Cy Vance needs to show intent. <clears throat> He's going to need to show that Donald Trump had awareness of what was going on or his children or or uh, executives in the Trump organization and that they were batting issues like this back and forth with their accountants. So presumably they also are, have gotten communiques and notes on, on all of the decisions they made about how to value their properties when they were taking them to banks and saying one thing and then how to value them when they were putting them in front of tax author authorities and saying something completely different. Uh, all of these sort of decisions and communications help establish culpability and intent. So what's really important here is that he, of course, he has the tax returns, but he has something much more than the tax returns. Uh, the period of time he has is important because it predates t Trump's ascent into the White House and I think helps build uh, the narrative around uh, the money trail and Trump's motivations for his um, destructive and obscene dance with people like Vladimir Putin. Um, it's a shame they couldn't go back further. I think this is one of the um, tragic misses of Robert Mueller's investigation. He could have gone back further, I think, than Cy Vance is able to into Trump's finances. But nonetheless, it's a substantial period of time. It's eight years. Um, it also pulls his three eldest children into the radar on this investigation. Uh, Eric Trump has been deposed. Ivanka Trump's name has come up in disclosures already in the tax returns about receiving what appear to be very sketchy and lucrative consulting fees from uh, her father's company, a company she already received a salary from. Um, and then it also you know, targets people inside the Trump organization who might flip on Trump if they're exposed to criminal liabilities. All of that's important. And then I think the, you know, the brass ring in all of this is that if Trump has a criminal conviction, he cannot run for president again. And that's looming over this entire thing as well. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.